hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hey, ain't no deadline on revenge. Bitch, I'm a beater. Yo, the last man stand. Hey, we can go body for body. Yeah, we can go man. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. I tell you my mindset. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to all of y'all, man, that watch this content. Also, salute to my brother, Showtime SP. I gotta get into this, man. Um, <laughs> this week in Battle Rap, well, basically, I just do a blog myself or myself and Showtime SP, depending on our schedule, and we just talk about everything. That's been going on. Who would I not be to say what I see? Uh, it's a couple of events going on pretty soon. Obviously, you got uh, URL Summer Madness 13. It was met with positive reaction. It was met with other reaction, whatever the case may be. Uh, but overall, you're going to watch the card. You're going to watch it. You're going to watch it. You're going to swipe. You're going to see it. So I'm not really one that's going to bash that. Like I said, uh, I do like some of the matchups on there. I do like Av versus Tay Rock. I do like Hollow the Dawn versus New Jersey Twerk too, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably get another matchup with two in there. Obviously, Rum Nitty versus T Rex has been thrown around. I oh, know Rum Nitty versus Ace I Amin mean, has been thrown around. That's probably booked. I, you know how they do? They do this whole shit with the we gonna book it, but y'all just gotta keep the promotion going. Just keep it going. It's the provocative. It gets people talking. So I would not be surprised if they roll that out with like a little trailer, like the week of or the week before, to try to make it like your fans demanded. So we obliged, you know what I'm saying, but uh, it is what it is, I'm gonna watch it, I'm not gonna lie, I will, I, I will watch these matchups, um, there was a card that went down last night called Magnitude, shout out to uh, the West World, you know what I'm saying, um, I didn't get to peep it last night, I did see some of the clips, I will watch some of the battles when they come out, Rum Nitty Battle Young Grizz, uh, G Will Battle Pain, Justice versus Smooth the Jug Man, and a bunch of other MCs, but I did see a clip that was floating around and circulating from Next NXT versus a kid named Hot Rich. Now, I never heard of this dude before. <laughs> Who are these niggas? <laughs> I, I cried laughing when I was <laughs> yeah, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, we need to stay away from these niggas. But I heard of them now. <laughs> uh, we might as well get to it. So, what it looks like, obviously, we haven't seen Next in a couple, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. Um, he's been doing this thing. He gained a couple pounds. They was calling him Nextenberg Raw. You know what I'm saying? He even addressed him gaining a couple pounds. He said he's been eating good, living life. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. I'm always happy to see people uh, living their life and doing anything. Some happy weight. You know what I'm saying? He's been, he's been doing his thing, whatever the case may be. Um, but in this battle, this clip comes out that was very, 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 very questionable. So I said, hmm. Next says that the dude paid his paid real name Brandon. Real name Brandon, where the hell you been? I ain't seen you in. What the hell you got going on now? That you got paid fifteen hundred to ghostwrite a verse for somebody against Next, who's supposed to be your man, and you didn't tell him the dude's wife did. Don't leave me lonely. Let's play swear to God. Promise to tell the truth. Swear to God, you ain't paid real name fifteen hundred to write around for you. The nerve of you! <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. It. That's. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of fucking money. I'm rich. I mean, his name Hot Rich. No, I know Rich. No, 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 Hey, swear to God you ain't paid real name 1500 to ride around for you. And he did this shit. You supposed to be my twin, my brother, my kin. I wrote this shit with a feather. You paid for a light pin. He's excited. He's excited. This excite him. Hey, yo, swear to God you ain't keeping a secret. I think my own brother ain't tell me, but your wife did. Speak. Wow! with it but he ain't get away with it don't leave me yo uh next 
I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to you so you can give it to a homeboy. I don't know his name. Hot Rich, Roddy Rich. I don't know the nigga name. I never seen him battle before. Uh, real name brand, I gotta give you one too because if next is supposed to be your man, you writing a ghost writing around against a nigga, that shit's kind of crazy. I would not ghost write around for Showtime against Showtime SP. But um, you, so you let me get this straight. We're not done. We're not done. Oh. So he paid fifteen hundred for one round, not three, just one round. So what was this? Washed. They did him just like that. You hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But uh, yeah, he gonna do. He was gonna win one round. <laughs> so <laughs> let me get this. <laughs> Yo, who are these niggas, bro? <laughs> like who? Everybody's not a battle rapper. I'm sorry. Everybody's not gonna make it. I'm sorry. Everybody is not gonna make it. Why are you paying fifteen hundred dollars to another nigga to write a rap for you? And why is your wife telling? Like, I just want to know. Like, are y'all on the outs? Is this was this not a plan? Was this daycare money? Was this? I know groceries is expensive than a motherfucker right now. Was this grocery money? Where did he? <laughs> oh, you spent. 1500 and she told your op please tell me y'all not together no more you got yo i need a, i i need a follow up for this this can't this can't <laughs> yo these stories just make themselves up so next place swear to god with this dude and the nigga couldn't even really respond like he like turned around he like wiped the sweat off his face and shit like that bro like what and then why does you why does your wife even know that you paid him fifteen hundred? See, sometimes you gotta make some purchases, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta make a little purchase your wife don't know about. You gotta make a little purchase on your own. Why does she know that you gave this nigga fifteen hundred? I don't know you, but dog, this is some funny shit. And I don't know where your career is gonna go from here, but this shit looks wild as hell. And next knew it and used it against you. And and they was saying Adam twenty two. Calling you Adam 22 and that bitch. <sighs> that had to be the funniest shit I have seen all weekend. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, moving on, I seen K Shine talking about he's going to battle again. I think it's very, very important that the K Shines are out there. That the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the battle rappers that we haven't seen and that are in little situations, whether it be with different leagues or whether with the URL or whatever the case may be, fans don't care. At the end of the day, fans don't give a fuck about none of this politics shit going on. None of this, oh, we don't get along. This person owes me bread. Now, we don't care about none of that shit. We just want to see good battles on good cards. Like I said, I don't care what league is putting it on. If you're else having a good battle, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to recap. If RBE's having a good battle, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to recap. I told you, I don't swing the flag for none of these niggas. Because at the end of the day, you're only as good as you as, as long as you're good. It's all good till it ain't all good. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's all good till it ain't all good. Till you say something, till you do something, till you you know what I'm saying? Say an event was whack or say a battle was whack, then they're not fucking with you no more anyway. So that's why it's best to just keep it neutral. So uh, K. Sean says he's gonna be back. I don't know who it's against. We keep hearing these you know rumors. He's gonna battle here. He's gonna battle there. So I'm more so one that's gonna wait. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll wait. Yo, this nigga really pay. I'm still stuck. You know how your thought process, how you move on to some other shit, but this it brings you back to some other shit. This nigga really paid fifteen hundred. Why you ain't pay me? I wouldn't have told nobody. Why you ain't? Why you ain't pay me? I would have wrote it. <laughs> I think it's even bars. Give me fifteen hundred. Hit me up. You got fifteen hundred for me. I'd have wrote two of them joints for fifteen hundred. I might have. I ain't gonna hold you. But you pay this nigga, and he found out. But anyway. So K Sean's supposed to be battling again soon. We'll see what goes on with that. Uh, obviously, uh, Rare Breed Entertainment continues to release uh, battles for Max Out 3. They just released Young Ill versus uh, Big K. They also got Hitman Holla versus uh, Ill Will. And they got A Verb versus A War. You know what I'm saying? A Verb is like the lead promoter, the lead everything. You know what I'm saying? He's the he's the <laughs> he's the head of promotions. He's promoting well. Every morning when you get up, he's got a space going on. Him and Head Ice was, I mean, not Head Ice, Head Ice. Him and Swave Sever was going back and forth today. Him and Swave, and if you don't know, him and Swave battled years and years ago on Guerrilla Warfare, you know what I'm saying? And Verb smoked 
Swave, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I watched it again today just so I could refresh my memory, you know what I'm saying? I did watch it again today. And I will first I'll start with the uh with the tweet, you know what I'm saying? The tweets that a couple of the little tweet, 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 Twitter shit that I saw earlier, you know what I'm saying? Uh Head Ice, I mean, why I keep calling Swave Head Ice? Let me put my charge in. I don't even know why. Swave, salute to Swave and everything that he's got going on. Team Hami, we already know what he get, how he gives it up. So Swave Seven says, hey Verb, you be wild sensitive, Slum. The truth hurts. You don't like when somebody do what you do back to you. You still are who you are, just not who you were, yet still a Rushmore candidate. You don't like what I said? Show me I'm wrong. So, uh... Verb responds and says, Swave, this isn't Verb. When I this wasn't Verb when I beat you either. I showed you you was wrong before. Why would I be sensitive? You was the victim, not me. I said I would rematch you, no problem, right? You know what I'm saying? Then then Swave says, but you keep saying that like that's my goal. I never deny you beating me. However, I don't pursue a rematch with you. I just speak on what I see or my opinion, same as you. Let me also add that a rematch would not be the same outcome. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying if we do if we did a run back, you know what I'm saying? You get your buck, buck clap if we do a run back, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be the same. Um so in watching that battle again today, you know what I'm saying, I did see uh some of the some of the moments in there. Verb was in his bag, you know what I'm saying? First round he comes out with the no more nerds at the cool table. Karate only works on niggas that do karate. He had the other line, I'ma break every branch off Mr. Miyagi bonsai tree. I will um ill will running up behind that bitch. He think he Toto. Uh these little acting niggas can't bring it to Steven Spielberg. I watched him. I even took a couple notes. I was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? It's a throwback joint. Uh Swave comes out, he has his big uh the big L line. He had a contract killer. I did like that. I'll murk you, then blend in the crowd with these Chirac niggas. I like that joint. My team surround A like an at sign. Obviously, that's dated, but that was back then. It was years and years ago. Uh, it's showtime. Nah, fuck that. My cable off like that. Uh, he said a verb was like, I let that S wave. And then he was like, get it, Swave. I let that S wave. Uh, you from Harlem where niggas rock glitter kicks and do shit like this. Yo, it was a little, a little heat in there. You know what I'm saying? It's a little heat in there. It's a little heat in there. Um... Swave has some bars in his second. Beat the beat you to death with my bare hands so I could feel your life leaving you. He says, Aerosmith make these run, you know, these the fucking Aerosmith MD. Uh, Aerosmith make these MCs run if they walk this way. Y'all niggas know that line, man. But it was five, five when Swave said it said. Um, he was getting booed in the second and his third, he kind of got booed out of there. So Verb did 30 him. Um, but Verb is like the marketing campaign director for everything that Maxar has going on. So if you get involved or you say his name or you going at him, you gotta be prepared for what's gonna come. You got to be prepared for what's gonna come with that. I like Swave. I like Swave was able to accomplish in his career. Uh, Verb even said it in the battle. Like I'm you ten years from now. Like if I stop caring, I'm you ten years from now. Uh, Swave so far is not on the Maxar card, but if he did make it on the Maxar card. He obviously would uh, probably have a battle like Jag, and it would be somewhere towards the bottom. So that shows I'm not going to take anything away from what Swave's done in his career and where he's at. But he was doing an interview with Hip Hop Is Real is where this came up. You know what I'm saying? He was asking him about Verb and just about, you know, where he's at right now. And Swave was basically, he has an opinion. He's entitled to an opinion. But when you're a battle rapper and you have that opinion that you're entitled to, they're entitled to their opinion about your opinion, which makes it their opinion, if you get what I'm saying. Because the first thing that they could do to deflect is say, well, fuck that. You ain't like that nigga. You trash. Ah, ah, ah. They can do that, you know what I'm saying? And Verb is gonna stand on his on his field. Uh, I seen him putting a lot of tweets up, like the lines been drawn in the sand. You either over here, you over there. Like Verb been like that, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how he been. He's welcoming Young Ill back. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about Young Ill versus John John, which did release this week. This is what happened in battle rap. This is all battle rap this week. You know what I'm saying? We gonna throw it, we throwing it all in the pot. Everything from Sunday to like Sunday time for him. So. Uh, Verb, uh, you know what I'm saying, John John um, and, and, and Ice Pack comes out, and I watched the battle. I did have John John the Don winning the battle, pretty clearly. I don't have like this big body bag, like, oh my god, Young Hill was so horrible, he died. I don't have that. I'm sorry, I just, I don't, I don't have it. I don't, I don't have it, you know what I'm saying? I do have John John the Don winning the battle. 
I understand why he would be proud of it and want people to see it because when it came out, when was that? Thursday? Whatever day the announcement, oh yeah, the announcement for RBE for Ice Pack coming back was Thursday and magically these niggas released the battle on Friday. And I'm gonna say this, right? And I, I might have like mentioned it or I might have seen it mentioned. It before. I don't really like it as a move. Shout out to Street Status. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's their business. They can run it how they want to run it. But I don't like the fact that you're releasing a battle three, four years later once he gets booked. It seems like a clout move. And I know everything is about clout anyway. I know. I, trust me. I get it. I get it. I get it. You want to return on investment? You want as many people to view it as possible? Let me just release it next time that he has a battle. But the thing is, he didn't win that battle. So you didn't do anything for him by putting that battle out the day after his fucking announcement gets released. His announcement gets released, then you release it. Oh, come on, we got the battle to be out by seven o'clock. Like, come on, dog. Gotta release that shit any other week. I'm pretty sure if I look through my tweets, I've asked this nigga to release. We, many people have asked him to release this battle for like the last three years. So releasing it the day that his announcement versus Big K comes out, eh, I guess. I mean, you do what you want. But the niggas who've seen it, we saw it. I was only gonna look at it as reference material. Like, okay, cool, good. But uh, it didn't, wasn't bad. That's the thing that was so crazy about it. I don't know why you held it that long. Why would you hold it for three, four years when he wasn't bad? He didn't win, but he wasn't bad either. I didn't have him getting fucking... Let's just say it like this. I've seen John John do people way worse than what happened with Young Ill. And I have Young Ill, you know, John John winning the battle, probably 3-0, gentlemen's 30 winning every round. But he done other people worse than this. <laughs> he has done other people. So one thing about my boy John John, he's done other people worse than this. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's got T-Top coming up. Uh, we'll see if they really get personal, but from the offset and like I've stated in previous context, I feel like they're friends. So it's like, how far are they really gonna go? And I've seen people trying to like get on uh, the guys, whether it be URL, they out having fun or playing taps with Smack and shit like that. I don't feel no way about it because they've been around each other for like the last 10, 11, 12 years doing summer madness of summer madness of summer madness of summer madness. This is more so like another day at the office for them. A lot of them are just checking in like it's a job. You know what I'm saying? They're showing up. I've said this before. URL, they have all these events and they have the same guys traveling to five or six cities a year when you're here. You go to Chicago. Not Chicago. You're all like, I'm at Chicago. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know why I said the shot. But they'll be in Houston, then they'll go to Atlanta, then they'll go to LA, then they're in New York, and then they're in Philly, and then they go, they brought us like a traveling circus, they go everywhere together. So these niggas don't have no beef like that. You know what I mean? The, the most part about it would be the newer guys that's trying to establish themselves and make a name. Like when you see when Easy first came up, he was so fired because he wasn't really like trying to be associated or be clicky clicky with a lot of these dudes. I mean, he eventually joined Gun Titles, but his, his original goal was to join and take out a lot of their leaders. Speaking of Easy the Black Captain, he's got a battle coming up with Disaster on Grind Time, GTX, him and Disaster. It's one minute and 30 round, 30 second rounds, so they could fucking just wrap all of their rounds without even taking a break. I mean, a one, a one round, let me just put it into perspective. A one round battle is five minutes. That's what they normally contract for, about five minutes. Or more, you know what I'm saying? They have a grace period. Some people do five, some people do 25. But for the most part, most people get signed for one, uh, for five minutes, right? Well, when it comes to uh, these one minute and 30 second rounds, two rounds is three minutes, another round is 450. So basically it's a one round that broken up into three short segments. Now. I'm sure somebody's probably gonna stick to the time limit because another motherfucker might try to overwrite. The round is 130 and I'm gonna overwrite 240 or 230. It's gonna sound like they got five minute rounds. So, I, I mean, we'll see where that goes, but uh, one minute, 30 second rounds, I'm not really putting a lot of stock in them, just to be honest with you. Um, but Easy to Block Captain does have a card coming up called Nostalgia, Nostalgia, Nastyalgia, Nostalgia. Nostalgia. On the Trenches 2, it's Trenches 2 coming up. The Trenches 1 was just about a month or so ago and he's doubling back with the Trenches 2. He got, I don't know how he did this. I have no idea, this nigga got Hollow Man, the Hollow Man, Hollow Man from back in the days to come back outside. Now I get it, all of you niggas might not be from up this way. I got 76's hat on right now, by choice, not by force. 
I know that this is big and this is impactful for the city of Philadelphia. Shout out to the city of Philadelphia. I'm in Philadelphia damn near every day. Um, rest in peace to Young Cheese. Uh, that's Gilly the Kid's son who's, you know, um, recently taken in a shooting. You know what I'm saying? It was a triple shooting. He was shot in the back and he lost his life, unfortunately, at 26 years old. That's why I try to preach some type of message when I can about positivity, about, you know, getting out the hood, getting a job. There's nothing wrong with that. I've seen people try to come at me for having a job when I had one, you know what I'm saying? The jobs that I had, I don't even have any. I retired, I don't even have the jobs anymore. People will try to make a thing of it, but my thing is this. The goal is always to make it out the hood, not to be the best looking one in the hood, or not to be the toughest one in the hood. That hood shit, it's only gonna lead two places, jail or death. And highly, it's highly unfortunate that I'm seeing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of black males lose their life every year in a city where it's just gun violence and killing and killing and killing and killing. So, I mean, you know, if you could find a way, anybody, if you're watching this and you can find a way to get out, get out, man. Like, it ain't even worth it, I promise you. But uh, rest in peace to the young fella, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know the situation and what all happened or what all entailed, but I, it led me to say what I said about, you know, just being around. So, he got Hollow Man to come back outside. Hollow Man versus Ice? And Ice. Pardon my back, strut my shoulders, blatant disrespect that I dodge the doges. I love a home fries, I love a home fries. I used to hoop, and then the rim got short to me. I, Head Ice is one of my favorite battle rappers ever. If y'all don't know, I be using the nigga clips and all of that. So, um, that's fire. Then he got Oom P versus uh, Reed Dollars. Uh, obviously, you know, Oom P's been doing a lot of freestyles and shit like that. I uh, haven't seen him in any battles yet. I heard he was supposed to battle Ace. I don't know what went on with that, if it's going to happen or if it's not going to happen, I heard you, I just what I heard. Who am I? Um, so, we'll see if that happens, but him versus Reed, cool battle. I seen Reed on the trenches on the last card. Uh, I feel like Reed needs to step it up a little bit because when he was battling against Rum, I feel like Briz, I don't want to murder no more. And he was doing a lot of them joints with the URL when he was in that pocket. He was in a good pocket of flows and he was winning and doing very well in battle. Took a little dip, going to the RBE, then he had to shoot with Big K, and I think niggas had their phones out, and then he lost to Easy not too long ago. Re, I need some smoke. I ain't gonna lie, I need some smoke. Then you fell out with, with RBE, I don't know what it was. I heard it was for like $900 or some shit like that. Y'all fell out, um, cool, 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 so be it as it may, but if you're gonna step back in it, I definitely wanna, um, wanna see you bring it at a high level. Uh, Max Al's coming also. Uh, it's no longer the blue room, it is now the Lou room. They booked uh, the whole bunch of St. Louis niggas on here. I told y'all, whoever's in this, y'all getting lined up, y'all getting set up. It's gonna be a large uh, <laughs> contingent of St. Louis folks in the building. And who knows, it might be another St. Louis motherfucker on tour or on this card. I'm just saying, St. Louis may not be done. It may be the Lou room just for the night. Um, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. Uh, I see people comparing the cards and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, Knowing the card, Max Out's gonna, on paper, Max Out's a better card. I'm just, I'm sorry, it's a better card. I, I, I don't got no dog in the fight. Y'all can say what you want, I really don't give a fuck. Max Out's a better card. They have another announcement on this card that could be a headliner of Summer Madness. Stop me when I'm lying and I'm not even trying. They have, they have, how many times do I have to say this? They have another announcement that could have headlined this card. And when it drops, I'm just going to say I told you. Um, so, yeah, this year is, is just a wrap. It's not going to happen this year, you know what I mean? Like the, the, but what we will do is we will watch both cards. I will watch both cards. At the end of the day, we ain't never that mad. I'm going to watch both cards. I've told y'all that before. That I, like, I don't even know how to, how to put it in any other way. We're going to watch both cards. Um, there are a lot of names that weren't on Summer Madness that people felt like should have been. I explained some of them in the last joint. But some of the traditional names, like the Geechee Gottis, like the Calicos, like the Charlie Clipses of the world, like the Rum Nitties of the world, people were looking for a lot of these guys. But I did say that you all got a lot going on right now. They definitely have a lot going on. You have lawsuit after a lawsuit. There's someone online, Dr. Uh, Roselle White. She's going through these cases every day. It's public information. I know people don't like when people look at casework and what's going on with Norb's case and this, that. I know, there's people who don't like it. They feel like, oh, yeah, I hate, 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 but it's public information. You can look at it if you want to look at it. You can read it if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. 
I think some of this stuff is interesting. I'd be liking to know what's going on. So I'd be sitting there listening to some of the court files and court documents and shit like that. It is what it is. It's just something that I like to see. Um, I've been hearing King of the Dot, some rumblings. I don't know if they got an event coming up or a blackout is coming or whatever the case may be. But I know when they put those get those events together where they really like focus on the talent and have these big battles, uh, it could lead to something. Uh, and it's always good when you see King of the Die active. I want to see King of the Die active. I mean, come on, come on. Come on outside, again, God. Come on out, come on, tell me. Give me the call. I come through. I will come through. I was at one of your joints before. What was the world domination? I'll slide back through. Don't think I won't. I will slide back through. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Remy, you need something? Let me know. Y'all need something? Holla, holla, holla. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm around. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely, I heard Chrome is coming back out too. Uh, have I heard some of the battles yet? <sighs> no. I heard the rumor of Easy versus Geechee, but I don't know if it's materialized any. Uh, but I don't know what's going to come out of that. You know what I'm saying? We'll see if that was to happen. But I heard they might move the location too, so... If they move it from New York to like a Houston or somewhere else, that's going to be a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want me there. Y'all know, know how to make it happen. I'm just saying. I'm just, you know how to make it happen. If you want to make it happen, make it happen. Um, And besides that, it's just, what else is going on out here in Battle Rap? Right? I was just thinking of like all the things that we could be talking about. And I just put them together in one blog for the end of the week. You know what I'm saying? Like I just drop it on Sunday or Monday. And just let everybody marinate like that, you know what I'm saying? Let it let let it let it work through your spirits, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's summertime. So uh it's a lot of good events going on. Uh obviously I know John John has an event coming up. Uh, there's a couple more leagues that have John John's battling Jay Mills. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the battle, but whatever. Uh we'll let it happen. Let it happen. But I know URL couldn't have put no John John versus that's the thing. We be giving a lot of passes to other leagues. We know damn well that we would not have been cool if fucking uh, if URL had booked that battle or Kick It Dot or RBE had booked that shit. Um, J Mills was cool in the cipher, but I just don't think he's found his his footing in battle rap, and he might not ever. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna hold you. He's had like four or five battles since he's been back, and not only has he not won one, I don't think he's won around. I really don't. Like, I'm not even hating. I know y'all feel like I'm going to be hating on Jay Mills, but I don't even think this nigga has won a round since he's been back. I know he didn't win no rounds versus Gichi Gotti. He didn't win no rounds versus K-Shine. Uh, him and Enes, I don't know. Who knows? I don't fucking know what happened with that battle. Who cares? I don't even care about that battle. Um, but the ones that he's been in, he don't be winning. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to battle John John. I got John John 3-0. No hero. 3-0, no hero. It is what it is. Uh, Sirius Jones is back out. I would love to see Sirius Jones back in the ring. I said a good, I thought a good dope opponent for him would be uh, Iron Solomon. Obviously, you know, Iron Solomon hardest. You can't really get Iron Solomon on the whim. But if you could, you know what I'm saying, that would be a dope, uh, a dope battle to have. But uh, shout out to all the leagues out there. Uh, shout out to all the artists. Shout out to the Patreon following. You know what I'm saying? We're still building the Patreon. We do, we are, we do exclude, we do release exclusive content on there. Uh, I just added a video yesterday, and I'm, you know, I'm definitely continuing to add exclusive content. So if you want to support us in that way, you can trot right over to uh, Patreon, you know, what I'm saying slash Fly to Fly, and you know, there's a different couple packages in there where you can join for very cheap and be part of the family. It's all um, support, you know, what I'm saying, because we got some events that we're gonna um, be pulling up to different states and things like that, and that's what I use. I use those type of funds and the funds that we make off here, you know, cop flights and. Fly the cameraman, fly SP, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got some shit going on. And I definitely appreciate everybody that looks out and has helped out in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? But just watching. Just watching is always a thing, too, because that does definitely brings support. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying, that watch this content, whether religiously or passing. The NFL season's coming. I'm sure we'll have a lot to talk about, a lot to break down. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Gang, gang, gang.